A few years ago, we were involved in a business improvement effort for a utility company. Our mission was to improve customer experiences, to differentiate our services from the competitors, and to improve the efficiency of business through automation. There were multiple challenges faced by the project. There were many different computer systems that were disconnected and disparate doing similar jobs. These systems suffered from well-known anti-patterns, which made them difficult to change. This meant that the company was slow to adapt, either to outside influence or to execute different product strategies. These systems were slow and had complex interfaces. Many of these systems were architecturally inflexible, being tightly coupled with the business domain. As a result, they were difficult and costly to maintain and support. Our objective was to give users access and ownership of the business process itself, to separate the business process data from the automation, to foster an iterative agile approach to the business process development itself, and to replace multiple legacy systems with one cohesive solution. The solution we developed to meet this challenge was a success. It delivered a highly flexible and intuitive workflow management system. It allowed us to design form templates to meet the needs of businesses quickly. It provided powerful user experience tools that allowed users to customize their views, create filters, and customize their searches. Perhaps the most impressive aspect was the seamless integration of human and machine into a single system, such that the advantages of the machine automation were realized without sacrificing the adaptability of humans. Because the system is not at all tied to the business domain, we could make business rule changes almost in real time. Modifications to the business processes that would have taken weeks to go through the software development life cycle were taking a few hours at most. Entirely new business processes could easily be established often without additional coding. All this was possible because we had applied stringent architectural principles that kept the business domain out of the core automation engine. The first three related principles were lean, performant, and flexible. By lean, we meant that it did not overload the user with complexity. We wanted the solution to be intuitive for users at every level to use. We wanted it to perform well for our users, to respond quickly regardless of the number of users. We wanted it to be flexible to be able to quickly modify business processes to meet the changing needs of the business. We wanted our solution to be universal, in that we wanted the software to be able to automate a multitude of business processes not yet conceived of. It would not be tied to a particular type of process or industry. It would be a true universal business process automation system. The system had to be robust and reliable. The system would be at the core of the business, managing business processes critical to the proper operation of the business. The system was designed with this in mind from the start, implementing high availability and redundancy throughout the technology stack. The system had to scale to meet the needs of business. And then again, that was through horizontal scaling and clustering capability that we delivered a system that was able to meet the needs of even the largest business. Finally, we wanted a system that was extensible and that it would be easy to add new services and functionality without modification of the core product. This meant that other developers would be able to integrate separate services easily into our automation ecosystem. In 2015, the utility company released the product as open source under the GPL. It opens the way for other organizations to utilize this revolutionary new approach in business automation.